Hello everyone! Today I came home and there was this package lying around waiting for me to open it. It even says so. Look. Open me! Now then, uh, this needs a little bit of backstory. My girlfriend, she said she wanted to give me a mystery box. She would pick out the contents, make a cute little box and... Yeah, and that I should open it on the channel. So there it is, the mystery box. Woo! And I have absolutely no idea what's in here. So uh, let's just see. Open me. Heart sign. Alrighty. Oh, question marks and such. Let's just uh, open it right here. Maybe it's uh, meant to be opened like this. There are all kinds of... Uh, oh, wait. Maybe I should open it a little bit more. Like this. Oh, there's really a lot in here. This is one big package. And a lot of smaller ones. Yeah. Oh, this is heavy. It's actually heavy. What is that? The box is empty. We have some boosters and something big let's save the big one for last shall we yeah let's go oh what 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 is in here i'm very curious to this one it's very heavy wait let me adjust the camera a little bit and let's start up with what seems to be like booster packs all right what is this question mark Really, it can be anything. It could be magic, it could be something else. What is this? Epic card game. Tyrants. I've never heard of this. What is this? That seems like an epic card game. Marcus Commando. C Command. Tyrants. What does it say? Um, booster... Uh, what is it from? 2016, so it's actually quite relevant. Uh, I've never heard of this. White Wizards Game LLC. Alright. All right, yeah, you know what? Let's just open it. See what it is. Well, we have a Marcus Watch Captain. Um, does it say rarity anywhere? There are no uh, numbers on here, from what I see. Marcus, the Watch Captain. Wanted dead or alive. Alright. Quell. Uh, Paros, the rebel leader. Ah, it looks a bit uh, uh, Greco-Roman style. Uh, reap or sow. Evil zombie event. <laughs> if it is your turn, break all champions. Ah, you gotta break them. You gotta break them all. Hands from below with a minus. Yeah, this is definitely something Greek. What does the what does the back look like? Ooh, epic card game. Oh, it seems epic enough. The Gudgeon. Draka's Enforcer. A Battle Cry. Oh, it seems uh, like there's some. Uh, is that an orc or something? Hmm. We have a Lightning Strike. A wild event. Ooh. Arcane Research. The art looks nice as well. I like it. Temporal shift. Some doors should not be opened. Uh, Elara, the Lycomancer. And a wolf token. Oh, nice. We have a 2-2 two, two wolf token. Just like with magic. Well, I, I, I have a new wolf token, it seems. Oh, and the back is a zombie token, 2-2. Two, two. Huh. Evil zombie token champion. Brains. All right. So, I've never heard of this before. I can't even tell what's the rare. I think this is the rare, but 
for all we know this could be the rare. I will certainly go and check out what the hell this is. It certainly looks interesting enough. I'm going to save the package as well. Or else I will not be able to find it again. Second booster! Big question mark here. What is it? What is it? Boss monster. Paper and pixels. I believe I've uh, seen this. This is uh, this is like a regular card game, like uh, Cards Against Humanity or something, and Munchkin and stuff like that, games like that. And these are additional game cards, so these will have no effect. Uh, uh, yeah, if you only buy boosters, I believe. All oh, right, must have boss monster to play. All right, let's see what it is. This is from Brotherwise Games from the year 2015, printed by Carta Mundi. All right, I've never actually played this game, but I've always wanted to go out and buy it. So first of all, we have. Uh, I think I need to do it like this. Chase, mentor of monsters. Look at him. Nice. I like the pixelation on it. Pixel art. Then again, it is called uh, Paper and Pixels. Oh, this is a boss. And we have Greg, the new boss. <laughs> uh, Explodo, the bombassador. Elder Portal, Trap Room. Another Elder Portal. Hydra's Mire, Monster Room, another one, Spell Slime, Incubator, uh, Clock Tower, Trap Room, Fireball, another one, and we have The Princess, an epic hero, <laughs> oh, this is fun, uh, this actually looks quite fun. I think I will have to go and uh, and get the uh, the actual game. It seems like loads of fun. Just just the art, the the art itself is fun. <laughs> All the big look at him, the new boss. Oh, fun times! Oh yeah! Right next up, another booster pack with a question mark. Ah, what do we have here? Well. Gotta say, my girlfriend really put some work into this. Oh, what is this? What is this booster? Final Fantasy! Ah, nice! This is the second set. I didn't act. Uh, yeah, actually, I didn't have anything yet from this set, so that's uh, going to be fun. Uh, the focus on this set uh, lies with Final Fantasy VIII, as we can see from Squall on the front of the pack. It is the English edition. Thankfully, common 60 cards, rare uh, 42, hero 32, legend 14, and premium. They can all be premium, I guess. Right, cool, awesome. Let's see what it is. Oh, I like this. How do I even open this? There's a thingy here, but oh, wait. What do we have? Ephemeral Phantom, F Phantom. This is uh, from Final Fantasy X. Oh no, wait. Hmm. All right. Horn. Oh yeah, I forgot how thick the cards are. This is this is fantastic. Thick cards, everyone. I like it. I like it a lot. Horn. Final Fantasy XII. We have the Black Mage from Final Fantasy XIV. I see something sparkle down there. A Chocobo from Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, oh, oh. We have a Ranger, Final Fantasy III. Uh, Arboreus Simulacrum from... What is that? DFF. Huh. Doesn't ring a bell. Sorbet, Final Fantasy XII. And we have a Final Fantasy XIV uh, character. A Scholar. Uh, so if you... Uh, Pay that and tap it. Uh, choose one doll forward. Deal it 2,000 damage. Hoo -hoo. Nice. From Final Fantasy XII. Uh, Shem Hazai, the Whisperer. 
Rosso from Final Fantasy 7. Giz from, from Final Fantasy 12. He was one of the judges, as the card says. And we have Raidia, Final Fantasy 4. Oh my god, I loved Final Fantasy 4. Not the remake one with the uh, new graphics and such, but the old one. Oh, that was amazing. Alright, that is fun. Next booster pack, I think. Might be just an assortment of cards, but I don't think so. Two booster packs from... <laughs> oh wow, the Eye of Judgment. Ah, do you guys remember this? Uh, this was uh, a game way back in 2007. The game uh, turned out to be very innovative, but it failed. It failed miserably. It was such a fun game. I remember working actually for the company that distributed this. Uh, in the Netherlands and I explained the game to everyone uh, going to the uh, convention there and I got a couple of booster packs myself from that time so the idea is that you have a field in front of you and you work with the PlayStation 3 uh, you have a special camera and of course the game itself and then um, you just play a card game play them on the grids and they come to life on your screen there was actually one flaw that uh, the game couldn't tell if you shuffled your deck yes or no so you could just uh, rearrange everything and uh, yeah that was about that so let's open it up <laughs> this is actually ah uh, this is fun this is a very old this is a long time ago that i got these so we have a beguiling fog oh yeah and it is from wizards of the coast See, and here are all the signs. Uh, the scanner here picks up all these signs and, uh, yeah, shows them in the game. Beguiling Fog, we have a Morning Star Warrior. And I don't know, what are the rares again? Uh, I don't think I can see that. Hmm. Sleep Trap, Flame Magus, uh, Monk Elder of Okunada. Aegis Citadel, a Cloud Runner, and we have the Gogli Altar. All right. Well, uh, I, I do have a PlayStation Three. I should pick up the game. It's 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 fun. It's fun to just play it, you know. All right. I remember this one, Hellfire Spitter. This was actually quite a common card. I believe it was in uh, the starter decks as well. Morning Star Warrior again, uh, Verzar, Foot Soldier, another uh, Monk Elder of Okunada, Green, uh, Lich uh, Lycanthrope, uh, Queen's Servant, Samurai uh, Nagi Rashu. I remember this one as well. I believe this was actually quite a nice car to have. Don't remember though, but I, I, I can't tell by art. I remember that guy. Antinoian teleportation. All right. Well, that's uh, been that's a blast from the past. And then finally, we have the last one. Last a uh, booster pack. What is this? What is this? Looks like a link over here. Whoa. <laughs> Zelda trading cards. Uh, six cards, one decal or tattoo from five Zelda games. Look for gold foils. All right. So this is uh, not a card game. Uh, these are just trading cards. Uh, you can collect the arts and uh, yeah, uh, put them in a binder. Look at them. I actually used to collect uh, cards like these from uh, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, uh, even as as far back as the uh, the live action Flintstones movie. Do you guys remember that? Oh, wow, that's a long time ago. Zelda. Let's see what we have. I've never opened up one of these packs, so I don't know what to expect or if it's even the right. Oh, oh, I see it already. Here is the art, the Deku mask. And a bit of explanation. Right, Impa, 
Oh, all right. And here on top is um, what game it is from. So this is from a Majora's Mask, obviously. This is from the Skyward uh, Sword. I've never actually played that one. Uh, this is from Twilight Princess, Hylian Shield. We have Darunia from the Ocarina of Time. Oh, such a great game. But I don't need to tell you guys that. It's one of the best games ever. Uh, Wolf Link from Twilight Princess. And we have Princess Zelda from... Oh, what does it say? I cannot read it. Can I see it over here? No, I can't see it. Ah. Well, all right. Cool. Very nice indeed. And we have a Ganondorf. What is that sticker? The call tattoo. It's all golden. Oh, that looks amazing. Well, all right. That's very cool. Maybe I'll go and uh, <coughs> start a collection of Zelda cards. Right. Next, which one shall we pick now? I'm very excited. What is this? It's very tough. Hmm. All right. Redemption? Oh, wow. Remember that, guys. It's it, it's it's redemption. You know, the uh, a biblical game which I have opened up some packs way, way back. And it was actually uh, well viewed for one of my very first videos. So what is in here? Um, Redemption is a collectible card game. Uh, biblical adventure. Players use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh. Tin contains 4th edition starter deck. Two decks. Five packs. Uh, Prophets, Angel Wars, Apostles, Patriarchs and Kings. Two mystery cards from uh, Thesaurus X. In, uh, pre... Pre... Preteritus set. The Preteritus set, of course. I've actually seen one of these gift boxes uh, opened on uh, Rudy's channel from uh, Alpha Investments. I'll be uh, I'll be sure to uh, put a link in the description down below. And he was also like, "What is this?" Well, we've all already seen what it is from previous videos from me but I haven't opened up any other sets before so we have the boosters over here Angel Wars all right Angel Wars hmm. a rule book two decks and we have two special cards three special cards and they are foil the foiling is um, not really of high standing quality, but nonetheless, uh, not too bad. We have a wandering spirit. We have a Leia. And well reopened. All right. That's them. Now then, for the packs, uh, or shall we? No, we go to the decks first. Uh, the Son of God. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, the beautiful back of the cards. Now then, as I have uh, mentioned before, I am uh, not a Christian. So, um, a lot of the cards, I really don't have a clue what they are. Uh, in, uh, in light of uh, the Bible. But I did like the art for these. So, yeah... Let's take a look here. The Angel of the Lord. Christian Martyr. Uh, we have Strife. A Lost Soul. Look at that. It's just like a, uh, like one of those old paintings. It's, 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 it's very cool. Very nice. A uh, Lost Soul. Another Lost Soul. More Lost Souls. Oh, we have a bunch of Lost Souls. Now then, I haven't played the game. I have been watching some uh, how to play uh, videos in the past. However, that's been such a long time ago that I don't know how it works anymore. Uh, right. Loaves and fishes. Water to wine. Walking on water. Raising Lazarus. Peter, 
just simply Peter. Uh, we have James. May band to John. And here we have John. <laughs> Negate evil characters. Andrew. Wonderment. Miraculous catch. You are the Christ. Uh, authority of Peter. Fishers of men. A legion of angels. Uh, Gabriel. All right. Uh, gathering angel. Angel at Bethesda. Hey, Bethesda, isn't that the uh, the game producer? The game developer? Huh. Fallout and Mass Effect. Angelic News. Eaten by worms. Ooh. Overwhelming Presence. Angelic Guidance. Glad Tidings. We have uh, Astro Astaroth Worship. Lami. Saf. Ish... Uh, wait a minute. Ishbi Benop. <laughs> what a funny name. Ishbi Benop. Uh, Delilah. Uh, Lami Spear. Ishbi Benop's Spear. Ishbi Benop's Sword. The Wickedness of Delilah. Just look at that art, man. It, it, it's, it's really just like I'm looking at a painting. Is this actually a painting or is this just made for the game? It, it really looks like a painting to me. Beautiful. I got one of those classic um, Renaissance painti paintings. We have Nabal, Selfish Kingsman, Achan, 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 Shafat, Bad Dealings, Achan's Sin, To Each His Own, and Sin in the Camp. There's a lot of sin happening here. All right, and in the second deck, we have another Son of God. But with a different art and a different color. And then, uh, remember, this is a game produced by Cactus Games. And it's been around, actually, for quite a long time. But there aren't so many sets per year. So that makes it a little bit uh, more uh, dealable to collect and such. So we have the Son of God, we have Angel of the Lord, yet again. Christian Martyr, it seems like we had these all before, but in different art style. Vain Philosophy, Lost Souls, ah yeah, now we get a bunch of Lost Souls, and all with a different art. Wow, there's so many arts of the Lost Soul. And I have some in a binder uh, somewhere here. Sing and Praise, Sword of the Lord, When Judges Governed, Family Bond, Samson, Jephthah, uh, Gideon, not to be confused with the leader of the Gatewatch, Shamgar, ooh, he looks mad, very, very mad, Samson's Strength, uh, Shamgar's Ox Goat, Trumpets and Torches, Gideon's Call, The Sword of Gideon, Elders of the City, Boaz, Naomi, Ruth, 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 Ruth. Uh, Gleaning the Fields, a loyalty of uh, Ruth, Ruth. In Dutch we call it Ruth, simple as that. Ruth meets Boaz, a devotion of Ruth, kindness of Boaz. Hippocrates, a proselyte. Emperor, Emperor Tiberius! Oh, look at that, the Emperor himself! Ah, one of those wicked, wicked Emperors. The second one, actually. Right, uh, Quirinius. We go to Pil uh, Pilate's soldiers. Pilatus. Mocking soldiers. Roman whip. Oh, we have some Romans here. Crucify him. Oh, I'm going. I'm so going to play this Roman deck. Oh, Sorrow of Mary, Colosseum Lions. Oh yeah, this is from the story of Nero, where all the Christians were um, locked in a Colosseum and they were starved to death. I believe some lions were in there as well. Hmm. Nero, such a foul spirit. Yes, controlling demon, unclean spirit. Looks a bit dirty here. Possessing demon, evil strength, fiery darts, persisting pestering. Ooh, he's a bully. 
and twice afflicted. Look at that. Is that the plague? Wow. Oh my, oh my god. I really want to go out and uh, learn this game. It, it seems like a load of fun. Even though I'm not a Christian, it seems like a load of fun to play. Booster Packs contains 8 limited edition game cards for the profits. Now, I have only opened up the first set, which were the blue booster packs, so these are all new to me. We have uh, Life Call, Baal Worship, Drawn Sword, A Goat with Horn. Oh, and we have some uh, upside down cards. A Dungeon of Malkiak, Mal Malkia, Vain Fission, Simeon, and Potter and the Clay. Uh, yeah, let's just put them over here. Next up, we have uh, another booster pack eight, uh, with 10 cards this time. Limited edition for the Apostles. Alright. Let's take a look at what we have. Leading others astray. Nico. Nicodemus. Uh, worked to exhaustion. Ethiopian treasurer. Hmm. Solomon's Temple board game. This is from the same, uh, the same. Yeah, this is also from Cactus Gaming. Cactus Game Design. Abbreviations. Josephus the Historian. Christian suing another. Elders of Jerusalem. A Roman soldier's faith. Oh yeah. Wild parties. Ooh ooh. Uh, Pharisees. Pharisees. And Greek philosophers. Hmm. I remember something that this symbol meant that it was uh, had something to do with the evil things. Why are the Greek philosophers considered evil? Hmm. The patriarchs. Also, ten limited edition game cards. All right. Let's see what we have here. We have Angelic Advice, Covenant of Abraham, hmm, there's a real difference between the art here, I really love this art, it reminds me of an old book, but this, what, 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 what is this art? It looks like uh, something that we made uh, when I was about 13 years old, well anyway, Artist Unknown, so I believe this is actually from um, an actual Historical thing. Covenant of Abraham. Passover. A leper. Ambush. Her. Eh, Haman's plot. Dream. Burning bush. And creation of the world. Alright. Two more boosters to go. We have the King's booster pack. Recommended for advanced players right oh this is black and white promotional cards uh, you've heard about them here's how to get them right redemption gift set ah is this something from the uh, gift set itself something that is exclusive I don't know King Yehu, Ahimaaz, Amasa, Shadow of Death, The Strong Angel, Elizar's Sword, Strength Revealed, A Valley of Salt, Ooh. Lamy's Spear, and Book of Hosei. Cool. Now we only have one pack left. Uh, this is the Angel Wars. Ten limited cards. Angel Wars. And the pack looks different than the rest. What year is this from? 1995? I don't buy it. Well, doesn't specify anything else, so might as well believe it. Alright, rule clarifications. Promotional cards, yet again. Right, we have uh, Blade of Death. 
Fearfulness. Ooh, no. No, no, no. I don't I don't like this art. Not at all. Tell a story tunes. Nope. Uh, masquerading. We have Obsidian Minion, also from... Uh, oh, oh my god, they're all from the same artist. Eyes Open. Multitude. Paladin, the fighter. I am a redemption. Lost Soul. And we have uh, the stars. So these are all from the same um, artist. And some of them I remember from uh, other sets, like Paladin the Fighter, I remember that. Lost Soul, obviously. Uh, maybe these are just alternate arts. For existing cards, I don't know. Huh. Alright. Redemption. How fun it is to open again. No, really. I like it. So, get in the tin. We'll figure out how this game works in due time. And now we have only one more present to open. And it's the big one. I am really curious about what this is. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> That's an old box. It's an old uh, gift box from Theros. The holiday gift box. And as fate would have it, I did not have this one yet. So, what's in here? Contains four Theros booster packs. Some lands, a promo card, dividers, and it is basically just a very big storage box. So, let's open it up and uh, see what we get. Out of the boosters! Oh my god, open! Oh my god, this is sturdy plastic. Right. Well, I haven't opened up any uh, Theros on the channel yet, so that's a good thing. Very good thing, actually. Oh, look at that box art. Now then, for those of you who don't know, Theros was based on uh, Greek mythology. It was the set... Um, oh. It was the set uh, Elspeth... Uh, was featured in, and uh, Gideon was known to be from this world. Actually, it was only known recently until Magic Origins, so we didn't know it at this time in history, but still very nice. Stickers to uh, enhance uh, the box. We have Karametra's Acolyte. Add an amount of green mana to your mana pool equal to your devotion to green. I don't believe I have this card yet. So that's very good. And behind it are just the uh, basic land cards. Let me take a look. Quick look. Yes, basic lands. Very nice. I'm going to leave this sealed for now. Some awesome dividers with... Look at that art. Oh, I really love these trees. I've seen them a lot in Italy. When we were there last year. These trees. Oh, I love these trees. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look at that growth. It's just amazing. And a Nyctos. Right, Nyctos was in here. Oh, I, oh, maybe I'll get a Nyctos. I'll need another one for a commander deck. Um, for commander we're going to play. I'm going to build five decks this time. Five people want to join in, and I need two Nyctos. Well, I have one, but not two. Who knows? Maybe I'll get one of the gods. Let's open up booster number one. Right. Um, oh, this was so, so great. Like I said, it's based on uh, ancient Greece. Like we see here with the Omen Speaker, one of the uh, oracles, actually, from that time. Commune with the gods. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. Dissolve. Oh, very good counter spell. Counter target spell. Scry one for three. Better than cancel. Way better. Peak eruption. Thassa's emissary. And we have Daxels of Melities. Uh, three mana legend. 2-2. Uh, two, two. It can be blocked by creatures with power three or greater. Whenever Daxels of Melodies deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of that player's library. 
Uh, you gain life equal to the cards converted mana cost until end of turn. You may cast that card and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast it. Remember the uh, black and white commander deck that I opened up a couple of weeks ago? Was it last week? I don't know, two weeks ago. That is the returned version of Duxels. We have him here in his uh, former glory. The other one was uh, after death. We have a foil, Minotaur, a Skull Cleaver. Planes and an advertisement card. Now remember guys, there is no, there are no chase cards uh, like masterpieces in here. Um, there is a thought season in the set. Of course the gods are well, well known, wanted for EDH purposes. Perforos, very, very good card, insanely so. So, um, I don't expect to have uh, an insane amount of uh, uh, chase cards from this, but it, 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 it can yield a very nice amount of cards, actually. Perforos Emissary, Emissary, Fadika's Mender, we have Nylia's Emissary, and we have Prognostic Sphinx. It's uh, 5 mana flying, 3, 5, discard a card, Prognostic Sphinx gains Hexproof until end of turn, tap it. Whenever Prognostic Sphinx attacks, sky, scry 3. And we have a boar token, look at that boar. <laughs> ah, funny, funny, funny. Next up, we're halfway with the Theros packs. Viper's Kiss, just look at that. This was also the set of the uh, enchantments. Um, enchantment set like this. It's an enchantment creature. Yes, very cool. Spark Jeweled. Uh, Centaur uh, Battlemaster. We have a Stone Shock Giant. Triton Forging Teller. And we have a Sylvan Karyatid. Very nice card. Um, it was actually played in standard back in the days, uh, in Theros. Uh, people had four in their decks if they played green. Because it is a defender, a hexproof, 0-3 uh, for two mana. And if you tap it, you can get any mana of your choice. So that's good. Forest and another uh, advertisement card. Final pack. What will we get from this? All right. Unknown Shores. Right. Gainsay. Counter Dragon Blue Spell. Very nice. Another Stone Shock Giant. Fanatic of Mogis. And. A Temple of Silence. Very nice. We can never have enough of these. Um, the Temple Cycle um, enters play tapped. And when it enters play, you can scry one. And it produces one of two colors. Forest and another one of these. I believe the cycle was complete, right? Something tells me that it wasn't complete. Or was that another cycle? Huh. Uh, now I'm going to say this was a complete cycle. During the whole Theros block. Alright guys, that's it. Oh wait, we still have the promo pack. Oh, I'm going to open it. Show you guys... The basic lands from the set. Let me tell you, there are some beautiful lands in here. Of course, the promo card. Just look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, I wish I could live right on that hill. Look at that. All of the forests are beautiful. Islands! Oh, nice, nice, nice. I have to go on a holiday. Well, not here, but certainly here. And mountains, yes, just imposing, very imposing. If you just look at the size of the trees and the mountains, it's huge. Enormously so. Mountain, and another mountain, and then the plains. <sighs> this set, really, the, the entire Theros block, that's something idyllic. Something, really, I, 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 I just wanted to go to Greece. Because of this set. I've never even been there. But. It is definitely on the list. 
Oh, such a beautiful set. Beautiful, beautiful. So we have a lot of cards. Yeah, a lot of new cards. A lot of new card games as well. I'm going to have to uh, figure out what they are. Some of them. And um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Very special thank you for, uh, to my girlfriend who organized all of this. Really. It's wonderful. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye.